So how do you know what business model is best for you? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. There are so many different ways to operate business. There's so many different ways you can set things up. There's so many different things that you could potentially do yourself or delegate or automate or, you know, how do you know what's best for you and your business specifically? I'm just going to show you an example about how this is not a Googleable question, right? So let's go ahead and play around on ChatGPT for a second, right? How do I know what business model is best for me? Okay, let's see. Okay, we want to understand our business goals, assess our target market, analyze industry trends. Okay, so right away I'm seeing that here we're doing a lot of market research and then analysis. Then we're evaluating what funding we have, what funding resources we need, figuring out what team we need, uh, what team we want, quite frankly, because you know some of us like working on teams, others of us, we're, we're in a different phase of life maybe, doing different things. Maybe you're a, trying to be a stay-at-home mom, parent, and you don't want to have to go in. Or maybe this is the time where you want to build a community space, right? Those are going to be different things. And then experiment and test. So again, moving forward and more deeply with R&D. So this is just us getting an idea for the business model. Cool. But you notice how each of these things is a is a big gargantuan of a task in and of itself, right? So to be able to strategize this many different variables can start to become overwhelming, especially once you start to see how big each of these folders become, right? So for example, market research folder, as you're diving into that rabbit hole and you realize, wow, I have a lot of data to, ana uh, to analyze and then to make action on based on my preferences on how I want to run business. And the thing is, if you're opening a non-alc business, your specialty probably lies somewhere in either the drink making or just the understanding of, uh, or like where you want to be in the industry. Maybe you're just a sober person wanting to help sober people. Maybe you're trying to bridge a gap. You know, these are all the, that like, that's your specialty. Why you started your business is your specialty. The strategy behind bringing that into light is a totally separate job description that sometimes the, the pieces are really clear for us and we can do that on our own. Other times that can be more difficult. As you can tell, I'm asking ChatGPT a question and it just gave me 90 days worth of homework in one response. How do I know it's 90 days of work? Because I developed a program <laughs> called Discovery Phase Launchpad that is 90 days long that takes you through this entire list. And it took a lot more than a few chat GBT responses <laughs> to put that type of program together. So point of that story is this is a completely different skill set than serving people drinks or than hosting community events, right? Business design and strategy is something that takes its own skill set. So I mention all of this not to make anyone feel worried or like that they can't do this themselves. It is a skill you can learn over time. If you want to cut that time, you can always hire yours truly to help you through these experiences. So all of this being said, the main question here, if we move back, is how do you know what business model is best for you, right? One final thing I really want to mention here is while yes, I can help you, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of programs and processes that I've pre-built out. I've got these templates, I've got funding resources, I've got literal links ready for you to just click and do your thing. But none of that matters if you aren't getting very clear on how you want to measure success. Like how will you feel like, oh my goodness, I have lived my life to the way that, you know, will make me feel whole. So not just keep being paid financially to make sure that the lights are still on and the internet still works, but what impact goals do you want to make? What kind of lifestyle do you want to live? What kind of freedom is very important to you? You know, how do you want to interact and be known in the community at large as well as like locally? There's a lot of different ways of being paid and 
in in what in what we call the lifestyle rich revenue method is where we find the most amount like the maximum amount of profit so of course of course we're here to strategize the numbers absolutely but the numbers are meaningless if it's not a business that you can sustain long term so all of that being said i want to mention that business models change over time so reevaluating your business model five years in is just as important as setting it up for the first time. So whether you're in the discovery phase or you are an established business, this is something that should always kind of be on your mind, or at least quarterly, something you check in on and say, is this still working in the way that we want it to? Is it making everybody the the goals that we had like put in our mission statement that we put in our initial business plan? So no, I can't give you an, an exact like here is the one thing that will help you decide the, the little quiz that you can take that will pop out an answer in five to ten minutes on what business model is right for you no this is a process that you go through and it's a beautiful process that I think that romanticizing is incredibly fun and it allows us to connect deeper with our purpose so if this resonated with you in any way, please respond by sending me an email, hello at marinamars.com, and tell me, what kind of business do you dream of having? Like, what do you want to feel like? And if you already have an established business, what's keeping you from feeling that way right now? I want to hear all about it.